What is up guys, Fahir here from AwesomeTutes.com and as promised, welcome to another 3D game tutorial and this is a shooter game, not a first person shooter as probably some of us say, you said it's a first person shooter so why isn't this a first person, it's not a first person shooter, it's just a shooter game with some robots and what not. So this is our scene, we have this beautiful skybox with this planet, we have these asteroids here, we have particle effects, we have everything. It's a full package and when I run the game we will see what the gameplay is. Now just notice the effects that we have here regarding particles. So we have our robot who can move left and right, he can fly and notice the fly effect so he has this boost from his back. Now when we come near one of these robots they will start shooting at us. So did you saw that and I just avoided a shooting and of course we can shoot as you can see and yeah we can rotate the arms of our robot so that well he can shoot in other directions like this and we destroyed one of these robots and you saw that he has exploded we can also shoot rockets so notice now. And we destroyed another robot so yeah when they explode. Well, they get destroyed. Now, of course, regarding these cannons that you see, let me just go here at the corner. So see this cannon, it is following the robot where he is going. Now, did not implement the shooting for him, but I will show you how you can do that on your own because, well, the thing that we implement for these robots that are currently shooting our robot will be the same for these here. And of course, I did not implement that these enemy robots could kill our player, which, well, then I could not show you the game, okay? So let me just shoot this dude. So yeah, he is dead. And again, let me just shoot this right here. Come on, die. Anyways, this is our game and I can shoot all of these boxes here and what not. Now, of course, this is not too much, but we will learn a lot of cool things such as this movement, shooting the rockets, creating these animations and what not. And just to go into the scene view, this is a complete 3D game. So it's a 3D game. As you can see, this is a 3D space. This is a 3D robot and what not. We will talk a little bit more about lights. That is directional lights and even spotlights because this, what you see here, it's a spotlight and uh, yeah that is that this is our game and uh, let's get into it and create well this game of course so in order to do that we will need to go into a new project and this is unity in a new project I'm gonna close the old one where I just displayed the game to you and by the way before I dive what we need to do what we need to import you can go on awesometoots.com I talked about this in the previous tutorial and if you want to learn 3d game development in more depth you're serious about becoming a unity 3d game developer or a unity developer for 2d and 3d games go and grab this course unity 3 3D course it's awesome it got some awesome reviews it got well in the first 20 days over 600 students and whatnot people are loving it and I'm hoping that in about 10 days from now it will go above 1,000 students and yeah go and grab it if you're interested to get course coupons that is discounts highest discounts I give to the well persons or people or homo sapiens or whatever who are on my mailing list. So in order to get on my mailing list, you can download this complete project, the one that I just showed you a moment ago, the robot game. And you can download all of the assets. So these assets right here that we are gonna import for our game. Link is in the description below. So go and grab those and that way you will get on my mailing list. So enough about all of that, let's get into our game. So we need to import all of this here except for these packages. Now these packages are, well, this unity.package that we need to import by right clicking and then import package and custom package and search for that package. So select all of these here. Standard assets, so we have the models, we have the packages which are not gonna be checked. So don't check the packages, models, plugins, skybox volume 2, sounds, and standard assets. Again, I will repeat, even though that you see it here, models, plugins, skybox, sounds, and standard assets. This is what we need to import. So simply drag and drop it here in Unity, and of course, wait for a slow death, 
because uh, it takes a little bit of time to import all of this. And even though it's not longer than one or two minutes, depending on how large your project is, but most of people these days cannot wait even one second. So uh, yeah, enjoy your slow death. But hey, it is done and we are good to go. So before we well start building our scene, let us save it. And I'm gonna save it into right click and create a new folder and it's a scenes folder. So this is where I'm gonna save the scene. Double click here and click save command S or control S on Windows or file and then save scenes. I am gonna expand this right here so that I can select the scenes folder and I am gonna name it game play. Hit enter and voila, we are good to go. We also need one more folder, so right click and create a folder. This is gonna be prefabs and we need to import some prefabs such as our level. So if we go into the packages, we will have the level prefab right here. So right click, import package, custom package and here it is the level package so i am gonna double click here on the level package and it is gonna import it here it is and i'm gonna click on import it has also imported this materials and it has this box material so if you did not or we did not create the materials folder do not panic when you see it oh oh my god i have a new folder is this some kind of magic is my computer possessed by a demon no it's not because we have imported this well map it has also imported this folder which contains this material so go into the prefabs and grab the map and simply put it here in the hierarchy don't put it here in the scene but simply put it in the hierarchy and it will be well positioned where it is right here and i'm gonna position let me just take the map and set zero 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 so zero 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 x y and uh, z of course now, as you can see this at the bottom, it says clustering jobs and whatnot. This is because, well, we have imported our map, which is a 3D object, and we have lightning that affect that is affecting our map. So because of that, I'm going to turn off the lightning. So window of lightning, and I'm going to uncheck this auto. I talked about this in the previous tutorial. This auto here is going to detect. So automatically detects changes and builds lightning. We do not want that because lightning is pretty expensive. It takes a lot of time to process. And this will make every time we change something in the scene, it will make the light rebuild itself. And we do not want that because it will well slow down your Unity well, process and of course your computer so uncheck the auto uncheck it again it's under window and then lightning and then auto here uncheck it so uncheck it please uncheck it i'm gonna repeat one more time uncheck it man don't look at me just uncheck that checkbox because then you will be like why is this so slow i cannot work because this right here is checked now I am gonna add a skybox and we talked about skyboxes in the previous tutorial about the cat jumper. So skyboxes they create mood in our game and I am also gonna set here the ambient source for the color and I am gonna set the color at three 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 one more time three can I click on one more time three yeah one two three, four, five, six threes. Yeah, six threes, that is what I want. And I want to select a skybox as the one that we saw. So the one with the planets and whatnot. And there are two ways to add a skybox and I talked about this also. So you need to go into this skybox volume two and then we have these skyboxes here. So we have deep space blue and here is the material for it. Now in order to add a skybox, you can either drag it here in the scene and voila, you're good to go. Or you can simply put it here into the default skybox. Now again, this is under lightning. So you go under window, click lightning and you will see the panel that is floating. Now it will not flow. Let me just see if, yeah, now it is floating. So you will see it, see it like this. I'm gonna dock it here near the inspector. And then you have this object, you have light maps and you have this scene here. So you're going to go under scene and then here environment lightning, you have the sky box and I'm going to, well, you can simply drag and drop the sky box. So let me select it. This is the material for the sky box though. Drag and drop it here and voila, you are good to go. So notice the beautiful sky box and notice how it creates the mood in your game just by dragging and dropping this little sky box. I mean, it is just awesome. 
Now, I am not gonna go with this skybox. So we have deep space blue. You can check all of these out. I'm gonna use this deep space blue with a planet. So this one right here and voila, here it is. Here is the planet that we saw in the preview. Here are the asteroids and what not. We do not have the particle effects. We will import them in a second. But before that, I want to talk about directional lightning. So what is directional light? Well, directional lights, and I'm going to go here. Actually, let me just take the camera. Where is the main camera? Go into the inspector, zero, zero, zero for the main camera. Actually, I'm going to say here two. For the Y, it's going to be negative five. And for the Z, negative 10. Yeah, this is what I want to see. If I go here, this is what we see. Yeah. So if I take the directional light, I'm going to go into the game view here so that we can see that when we change this directional light, notice how these shadows are going to change and what not. What is in fact directional light? Well, it's what it says. Directional light is pointing light in some direction. If I take the light and move it any anywhere, it will not work. So notice now if I put the game tab here, notice now the lightning here. So you see the lightning, you see the shadows here in the game tab. I'm taking, you see, I took the directional light and I'm moving it up and down, left and right, backwards and forward. It is not working. It's not doing anything. And the reason for it is because directional light is, well, it uses direction. If I rotate it, however, notice if I rotate it, how these shadows are changing. You see now? Do you see that in the scene? So it's not light. Now it's light. Any, well, currently it's light in the scene. When I rotate it, notice how the light goes off. Now it's completely dark. This is because it is not pointing into direction where we could have lights in this scene. So you can play with this. You can well move it left and right, rotate it actually left and right, up and down, blah, 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 wherever so that you can, well, see for yourself. Experiment with it. Just rotate it and that is the, well, that is the way to create mood with directional lights. Now for this particular light, I am going to put it at 21 for the X axis rotation and negative 60 for the Y axis. Z, I'm going to say negative five and that is that. Now you see here we have the type directional. We will talk also about point lights. So don't worry about that. And now this baking, what is it? What is baking? I talk about this in my course, which is the 3D one, this one right here that I have just mentioned. I talk about that in high detail, but basically baking this baked is if we have game objects that are static and they don't want to move. So we don't want to move them such as the level. So the level is going to be like this. It's not going to move and we still want to cast lights in that level. Well, we can use, we can select this directional light and we can set it to be baked. And when it's baked, that means that we will take less performance. It will actually put the lights inside of the game object. It's like the game object was imported with those lights. Now, in order for this baked to work, you will need to go here under lightning and click on this build and then you will wait for the scene to build. It takes about 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know, depending on your computer, depending on whatever. But as I already said, then you will click on this build and it will put the lights. It will build them like this in the scene. Notice when I turn off the lights, how the scene is dark. Well, when we use that baked and click on the build, even though afterwards, if we turn off the lights, still the scene will be like this enlightenment. I will probably try to create some tutorials talking only about lights and post them on YouTube, same as I did in the course. But if you're interested to know more, then you will, of course, well, get the course and roll in it. You will not regret it for sure. And there is 30 days money back guarantee. So uh, yeah, the real time is if we have game objects that are going to move, but we still want to cast shadows such as our robot. So our robot is going to move. We are going to cast a shadow on him. Well, for that, we will use real time. Now the question comes or it will be asked, so to say, what if we have game objects that are static, they will not move and we have game objects that are dynamic, so they will move such as the player and the level. Well, for that, we will use here mixed. So it will cast shadows on the game objects that are moving real time, which is a little bit more expensive, but if we need to do it, we need to do it and it will not 
cast the shadows on the game objects that are static. It will be built or baked into them. So you can leave it at mixed, real time or baked, whatever you want to, whatever you prefer. It will be the same effect because we are not going to do any baking here inside of this tutorials. But I just wanted to cover that because nowhere on YouTube you, will you find somebody talking about this. Anyways, the last thing that I want to do is, before I end the video, is go into the prefabs. Actually, we can also do it from here. So just right click, import package, custom package, and it's going to be the stars particle. So I'm going to click on that, click import, and the stars particle are going to be imported. Let me just go into prefabs, put them here into the scene. And notice now, do you see all of those star particles into the background so i'm gonna say position x at nine position y at six and position z at 32 rotation and everything everything can stay the same do you see all of this lightning in the background let me just turn them off so you see again i'm turning them on and off come on particles where are you yeah here they are Turning them off and on and off and on. Again, we cannot see them to like double click on them or click select them again. But essentially, they are here. So this here that you see, notice these stars. These are the particle effects, which will make our scene even more interesting and more pretty. So we did not code a lot in this video and somebody will probably say, oh man, you're boring, you did not do anything, we just can't believe it took 20 minutes just to import the assets, bro. Well, I talked about directional lights, which is really important. If you want to be a 3D game developer, it's really important to know what are lights, how to bake lights, what does bake do, what is real time, what is mixed so on and so forth. If you want to learn all, all that in more depth, go and grab the course. But I, I wanted to tell you because I care. I want you to learn. That's why I'm posting all of these high quality tutorials for free to, for you to watch. And anyways, if you want to watch them, watch them. If not, I do not care. You will benefit or you will be at a loss. So uh, fire here from awesometudes.com. Again, go here, grab the course. You will not lose anything. Just try it out for five days, for 10 days. Don't like it? Click on the button to refund and uh, you will get all of your money back. No questions asked. Even if you watch the whole tutorial, you take, for example, 25 days to complete the whole course, then you can refund. I don't care. Just go and grab it. I mean, it's for your own benefit, but if you get it, you will definitely want to stick with the course. You will never refund because you will see that's high quality stuff. Again, if you want to download the assets, all of these that I imported, the particle effects, the whatnot, so on and uh, so forth. Link is in the description below and uh, bye here again from awesomedudes.com. See you guys in the next video.